Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with your Anchor 4-in-1 USB-C hub adapter. So, this is helpful if you have a MacBook like me that only has two USB-C ports and you want to have be able to plug in more adapters. So of course, there's other versions of this adapter, not Anchor, and, not Anchor specifically, but there's other brands that, of course, have a bigger hub, which you can plug in way more USB ports and uh, two display out outputs. So... What you get in the box is the, this little travel uh, uh, bag, sorry. So you can go ahead and stick it in here. So when you travel, and then you just take this with you. Of course, I've never used this before, so I haven't used this. So in the back, in the front, you have a status light. Uh, this status light will turn white when it's plugged in. You have two USB, you have two USB connectors, connections, uh, which are 3.0. As you can see, it has the blue. It, of course, it'll work with if you just have uh, with two, if you have the other one. As you can see, this one has the battery indicator, so which means this will charge the device. So let's say if you plug in an iPad through this to the USB, uh, it'll work. It'll charge your device. So it has two right here. The This which is the input, technically, because this is what you're going to plug in. In the back, you have HDMI output, so you would plug in your monitor here. And then power. So, uh, if you wish to just have the output on your monitor, but you don't want to charge your device, it's fine. You can just have this with uh, the USB plugged in, and you don't need to have this. But once to, well, something to note: once you have this plugged in, it'll always charge your device. So that's what I've noticed with my MacBook. Once I have this plugged in, it's always charging my MacBook, even if it's in sleep mode, and I have this uh, plugged in, it's always going to charge it. So let's go ahead and plug in everything. So let's go ahead and plug in our USB-C in the back. There we go. So you can see that's the white light I was talking to you about. Now, as you can see, this is on. So let's go ahead and plug in our uh, monitor right here, my HDMI. There we go. And of course, the USB, this is for a uh, presentation clicker. I just have it here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. If you do need more USB or a bigger hub for more USBs and let's say SD card and all that stuff, of course, you have to purchase a bigger one. <laughs> I just have one more USB available. So now we would plug this into our my MacBook. This will work with uh, any device that has uh, like a Windows computer too that also has USB-C. So let's go ahead and uh, unlock it. So this is my MacBook. Let me go ahead and unlock it with my finger. Oops. And as you can see, my... Uh, monitor is on now so you can see now the monitor is on with so let me just go ahead and open a, a google tab so you can see the picture is on it's working we can do youtube and there we go okay so uh, remember I said you can use it without having the power plugged in. So let's say you just want uh, the HDMI. But as you can see on the top right here, if you can see very small, it's, you can see it's charging my computer. So it's always going to charge your computer. So let's say you just want to have power. I mean, sorry, the output. But you still want to have those USB functions. So all you need to do is let's go ahead and uh, unplug power. So you can see the white light's still on because the picture is on. But as you can see, the MacBook screen got dimmer. I don't know if you saw that, but let's go ahead and show you on the monitor again. It's no longer charging. Oops, it's no longer charging the computer anymore. So, but once you plug, uh, unplug uh, the USB-C right here, the white light's off now, indicating that there's no more power to it. So right now, the there's no picture going out. Of course, if you just wanna have your MacBook plugged in the whole time, you can always have it plugged into power. Just make sure that once you're not using your computer to just unplug this so it's not always charging your computer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, the Anchor 4-in-1 USB-C hub. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time in my next video. Goodbye.